Hey everyone, this is James Hunt here with a, another uh, WordPress tutorial. So this is going to be a tutorial that is uh, extremely helpful to anyone who builds websites and uh, needs to be able to transfer an entire WordPress website to another host or, or domain. So for instance, uh, I create websites professionally and I usually create them under a subdomain and then I move them over to a client's uh, URL so um, basically I just need to be able to transfer an entire website now you can try to do this uh, using the WordPress import and export feature however uh, it just doesn't work correctly you know you're not gonna get uh, all your pages and plugins and content and everything like that so when I say that we want to migrate or transfer a website I mean the entire website uh, all images, plugins, your SEO settings, you know, everything like that. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, we're going to need three things. The first thing we're going to need is the duplicator WordPress plugin, which is free. The second thing we're going to need is a, the website that you want to copy. And the third thing we're going to need is the domain that we're going to be um, transferring the website to. So uh, for starters, I'm going to show you the website that we're going to be copying. Now, as you can see, it is uh, psd.brandnewmarketing.net. So what I was talking about with creating a website under a subdomain, uh, Brand New Marketing is our uh, marketing agency, and we will create uh, websites for clients under kind of a staging server, which we use subdomains for. So as you see, it's that psd.brandnewmarketing.net. So this is the website that I want to copy. Uh, as you can see, you know we have a, uh, a slider at the top and you know some content widgets, uh, photos and stuff like that. We have a couple pages. Um, you know there's a a rental, you know request a quote kind of a contact form, little portfolio page with some different images and stuff like that. So when I transfer this website over to uh, photosocialdallas.com, I want everything to transfer. So that's what we're going to be doing. So step one is going to be to go back to the WordPress dashboard and uh, go to your plugins and add new. Now once the uh, plugin area comes up, we're going to search for duplicator. Duplicator uh, should be the first one that pops up. As you can see, you know, there's been over a million downloads. Honestly, this uh, plugin is a lifesaver. Not only can you uh, copy and transfer websites, but you can also create up or create uh, backups and databases, you know, which is just you know been a lifesaver for me. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and install this plugin. And once we have it installed, we're going to go ahead and activate the plugin. Okay, now let's go over to the left-hand side of the WordPress dashboard and scroll down to duplicator. Just go ahead and click on the duplicator plugin and then uh, up at the top there's going to be packages or create new. So basically uh, packages are going to be any existing websites or uh, database backups that you have saved. We don't have any so we're going to go ahead and create new. And uh, the thing that you're going to see right here is just the name of the file that you're creating. Uh, it's um, today's date and then the name of your website and then um, in order to create a uh, database it's gonna have to be able to pass the requirements so as you see you know here's just the list of requirements for the most part if you have a you know a fully functioning um, you know WordPress site without any problems you're probably gonna pass you know without an issue so let's go ahead and click next so what this is gonna do is it's going to uh, scan all the files on your website Make sure that there's no issues and make sure that it's going to be able to create uh, the files that you need in the archive. So as you can see, uh, in less than two seconds, it passed the uh, scan. So let's go ahead and click Build. So right now, it's uh, it's putting together the, uh, the archive and then also a file called installer.php. And that's what is basically going to... Um, install WordPress on your new website. So this can take a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pause the video. 
Okay, as you can see, uh, Duplicator was able to successfully build the website archive, which was uh, 39.02 megabytes, and then it also gave us the installer PHP file. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, click on the installer to download that. Now that's going to be a small file, and then we're going to also click on the archive, which is the um, the file with all of our website folders in it and files. So we're going to go ahead and download that archive. Now it's uh, 39 megabytes. That's a relatively small website archive. You know, I've seen them anywhere from uh, you know this size upwards of you know 300 and something megabytes. Uh, you know, if you have an e-commerce website or a website, you know, with a lot of pictures and stuff on it. So if your file is quite a bit larger, don't worry about it. It'll just take, you know, a little bit longer to download. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video while I'm downloading these files and then just place the files on my desktop once I'm completed. Okay, guys, so we have successfully downloaded the installer.php and also the website archive. After I downloaded them, I went ahead and placed both of the folders on my desktop so that they're easier to find. You might want to do the same thing. Now, the next step in this is going to be to open up the cPanel for the domain that we're wanting to transfer the website to. So we copied it from our subdomain. Now we're going to open up the cPanel for the new uh, URL. Now, if you don't know how to access your website cPanel, I made a video about that explaining how to access the control panel. I'll place a link in the description below, but for this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to access cPanel. Uh, once we're in our new cPanel, we're going to scroll down to databases and click the uh, MySQL databases. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new database and a new user uh, for our new website. So let's go ahead and create uh, a new database. We're just going to call it WordPress and create that database and then go back and the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create a user and then assign that user to the database so we're just going to call this admin and then create a password okay now we've created the user and the next thing we're going to want to do is assign the user to the database. So as you see right here, the database that we want to use is WordPress and the uh, user is going to be the admin. So let's just go ahead and add it. When it asks you what privileges you want to assign to that user, just go ahead and click all privileges and make changes. And then we'll go back. So if you can't remember this uh, information, go ahead and write it down as you're going to have to use it uh, in the next step of the, uh, the process. So now that we've created this database and this user, let's go back to the home, the cPanel home, and we're going to navigate to uh, files right here and then file manager and open up the web root. Okay guys, so now we're in the, uh, the web root of our new domain in the file manager. Before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and show you what um, what the website currently looks like that we're going to be transferring the domain to. So I'll just pull up the new URL, which is just photosocialdallas.com. So as you can see, there's nothing there. It's just a, a blank, um, blank site with the index and the CGI bin. So if you go back to the file manager, you see that here's that CGI bin, uh, you know, that you see at photosocialdallas.com. So what we want to go ahead and do is upload the installer.php and the uh, website archive that we downloaded using Duplicator. So as you can see, here's installer.php. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. And that'll just take a second because it's a small file. And uh, once it's completed, we're going to go back. And we're going to also install the uh, archive. Now, uh, uploading your archive might take a little bit longer than the installer. Obviously, it's going to be a larger file. So uh, we'll just give that a minute and uh, let that upload. Okay, now that the uh, website archive has been uploaded to our file manager, we're going to go ahead and click back and go back to the, uh, the web root of the file manager. So as you can see right now, 
we have three files. We have the uh, CGI bin, we have the PhotoSocial Dallas website archive, and then we also have the installer.php. So let's go ahead and open back up uh, PhotoSocialDallas.com the way that it was, and we're going to refresh that. And as you can see, we now have those three files in our, um, in our index. So the next step is going to be to run the installer.php. So just take whatever your URL is right here, go ahead and hit slash installer.php. And that's going to bring up the, uh, the duplicator installer. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new database since there's nothing there. As you can see, the requirements are that it passes in order to uh, install the files. So your host, you should be able to just to keep localhost. Uh, the name is going to be the name of the database that we created a minute ago. So if you'll remember, it was psdallas underscore WordPress. The user was psdallas underscore admin. And then our password. Now I recommend uh, hitting test connection before you do anything just to make sure that your uh, database username and password is correct. Okay, so you can see that uh, we were able to connect to the server and the database was found. So go ahead and scroll down to I have read all warnings and notices and run the deployment. Uh, basically it's telling you that it's going to um, install uh, install the installer and then uh, run the archive. Okay guys, so here's showing you what the old settings are. It was the uh, subdomain, the psd.brandnewmarketing.net and the path that it was in. The new settings, it's going to be under photosocialdallas.com and uh, the title is going to be photosocialdallas.com. So we're going to go ahead and run the update. And now we're at uh, the final step. So right here you can see that there were zero uh, deploy errors and uh, zero update errors. There was one warning, but as long as it's just a warning, you don't have to worry about it. So the next step that you're going to want to do is hit save your permalinks. So the window that it just popped up after hitting save permalinks is taking you to um, the WordPress dashboard login screen. So go ahead and enter the username from your old website and the password. So like I said, everything is transferring from the old website. That means that your um, all of your users are transferring as well. So whatever username and password you use to uh, log in and edit your website as an administrator is going to be the same username and password. Let's go ahead and click log in. And uh, once we've been logged in, we're going to go ahead and come down here and uh, click Save Changes. Okay, our permalink structure has been updated. Now if you see at the top, uh, reserve duplicator install file still exists in the root directory. Please delete these files to avoid possible security issues. We'll go ahead and uh, remove these files now, which should just take a second. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, successfully removed all the files. So now what we can do is uh, open up a new window and then type in the URL to your website. And if everything worked, you should have a uh, uh, exact replica of the website that you copied. So here we are, we're at photosocialdallas.com. As you can see, we've got the slider uh, and all of the content that we uh, copied from the staging server. Just to show you, uh, the rent a photo booth contact form, it's there. Uh, the email address that it's going to be sending it to, sending your messages to, is exactly the same. And also uh, the portfolio, all the images are there. So everything is there.
Now, if we go back to the WordPress dashboard, you'll see that um, all of your plugins are there. The duplicator plugin is there. So what we have here is an exact copy of our old website. Anyways, guys, that's my tutorial for the day. If you build websites and you need to transfer them over, this is the way to do it. It's easy, it's fast, and uh, you get everything you needed. If you have any questions on uh, how to migrate or transfer a WordPress website, feel free to send me an email or a comment below on YouTube. Please like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more uh, WordPress tutorials. Thanks.